Welcome to the group video critique of your fantastic watercolour paintings from last month, October, October 2023. All hopefully inspired by my live demo. So I'm thrilled to share my thoughts, focusing on what's great about each piece and maybe offering a small suggestion for improvement. So hello, I'm Tim Wilmot. As many of you know, I've had the privilege of leading live online watercolour workshops now for a few years where I create and demonstrate a painting while you lot follow along and you submit your paintings to be included in this group video. Last month we painted Porth Leven. Porth Leven, uh, Porth Leven Harbour is the most southerly harbour on the north coast of Cornwall, if you follow my drift, um, in the UK. And it lies along the Mounts Bay coastline, which offers some fantastic views of the ocean um, and the coastline and the changing landscape and seascape and coastal scenery it provides a lot of inspiration for artists over the years. Now the harbour was uh, constructed a couple of centuries ago and a shelter for local fishing boats. Um, it's often uh, featured when the Atlantic storms come in. It's quite dramatic the footage there that you see uh, of the the waves crashing over the harbour walls and the and the church tower. You can see a little church tower at the end there, quite dramatic. So there's a, a larger harbour here, outer harbour, that dries out at low tide and it exposes all of these sort of sand rock pools, which is a really intriguing landscape for artists to capture all the shapes and touch the seaweed, the puddles, the reflections, the the lines coming back from the boats, the boats themselves, the harbour wall, the buildings beyond. And then there's this light, the light coming towards us. Great inspiration for artists say, over the years. Uh, interplay of uh, sunlight and the sea creates some really beautiful effects as the light sort of shimmers on the water. Now you don't need to paint in my style on these workshops. It's really interesting to see everyone's different take on the subject. Same scene and everyone's different styles. You will see lots of different styles that go through these images one by one. Now these workshops are open to painters of all levels. I normally do them every month and it's a different subject chosen by me. All painters, all different levels are welcome. Beginners and advanced um, equally welcome. So I will be going through these paintings that I've that have been, that have been sent to me uh, one by one, and I'll just be offering my my own critique. I'll be highlighting all aspects I admire most about each piece, and maybe suggest a small tweak or improvement just to help you refine your skills uh, even further. Um, remember, we're here to learn and grow together. So what I'm looking for in these paintings are keeping to the brief, the composition, the drawing skills, a little bit of perspective, the drawing of the boats, there's lots of boats of course in this harbour scene, and then the actual watercolour techniques, the sky, the background, the boats themselves, the shadows, the reflections, getting texture of the seaweed and the, the puddles in the water, and a, a sense of perspective with the, the actual um, ropes and chains that are coming back to the to the, the back wall of the harbour behind us and of course edges mixture of soft and, and hard edges now as we go through these photos one by one uh, these photos are taken by the individuals and we've all got different devices cameras phones different resolutions different lighting conditions so please Bear that in mind as you go through. Some may be a little better focus, some may be higher resolution than others, some may be in brighter lighting conditions as well. So go easy on us. Um, we've all got different different um, uh, photo shooting conditions, so please bear that in mind. Now, if you want to take part in future events, just go to crowdcast.io slash at Tim Wilmot, the, the email symbol at Tim Wilmot. Uh, T-I-M-W-I-L-M-O-T. Love to see you on future workshops. You can still take part in this one and you'll get a little in, individual video critique from me sent to you by email. Uh, so, yeah, let's jump into the paintings one by one.
First off, my painting. Let me show you mine first of all. Fairly happy with the scene. If you just cast your memory back to the source photo, I concentrated, I decided to concentrate on three boats. So a main boat there, that one there with the cabin. And then either side of it, two smaller boats. There was this boat that was way over to the right and I brought it more into the scene. I removed the boat that was there before. It was pointing sort of um, this way, coming in towards that one. I thought that looked a little bit odd. Uh, far rather to have this boat here pointing away from the scene. And it's another element that sort of draws us in as well as these cables and ropes and things drawing us into the scene. So three boats. The horizon line kept that fairly high. Then from a watercolour painting point of view, keeping the background very simple, the lights coming towards us, we've got little bits of light hitting the rooftops of the town uh, perched uh, above the harbour wall. There's the light hitting the harbour wall there. Just left a little bit of the white paper showing. Simple sky. Painting around the boats as well. Painting around all these different cabins and boat shapes. And then the actual water itself laying an underlying wash. A bit of wet in wet with the reflection of the sky. And then going in with harder edges. Thicker paint for all of the seaweed. And then think about the shadow behind these. I'm trying to think of the, the three-dimensional nature of these clumps of seaweed that are lying on the, the harbour floor. And little bits of, if I zoom in, little bits of shadow there. And then little bits of light. The, the seaweed is all glistening and, and shiny and um, it's, it's, it's catching the light as the sun is coming towards us. Little bit of reflection where can I show you a little bit of reflection there of that boat, this boat here, the church tower. I think it's a church tower, the tower there. And then shadows as well, uh, giving us a little bit of the, the contrast of the darks against the lights, which if you know me, see my stuff, I like to push the, the contrast. And I'm pushing the color a little bit in this one with some warms and cools. The picking up the reds of these fenders and buoys in the harbour and then the cooler blues. That blue there, um, blue in the, might have got a bit overboard with some of the blue and then a bit of lavender. I like, I like using the lavender at the moment. That's sort of more of an opaque-ish paint uh, in subtle areas in the, in the shade. Sort of brings out a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of light, a little bit something interesting lurking in the shadows. Anyway, so that's my meagre effort. Let me jump through now the Ateni paintings one by one. First up then, Albertus, and thanks to all of you that attended live on the day or watched the recording. You do get a recording, by the way, uh, with the events. If you can't, if it's not in your time zone, don't worry. You've got access to recording. You play back the recording as many times as you want to as well. And I do also put up as a private video on YouTube if you want to watch it in that format. Anyway, Albertus. So I think Albertus, you followed my drift on the, where the horizon line is and the composition. You've got a bit of a misty feel to this, which would be very appropriate for this uh, Cornish port. Yeah, a little bit of mist in that middle ground. I like it. It's good, good edges, good composition. The composition, perhaps we are from a perspective, <laughs> a perspective point of view, it looks like we're looking down on the scene a little bit. So just if those boats were a little bit larger or a little bit higher, so this cabin here was touching the background boats that would then give us a feeling of being our eye level being a similar height to the top of that cabin maybe just a thought but like the the rest of the perspective the lines going towards the boat boat shapes are very good indeed yeah very nice and good background good good mixture of edges yeah well done albertus thank you 
and Anna W. There might be a few, are there a few Annas? Yes, let me go back. Anna W. I like that glow on that right-hand harbour wall. Very nice indeed, as well as the sky, got a feeling of the light coming into the scene. Very nice. The composition is excellent. Good feeling of perspective. I like the the angle of this seaweed here. I, d I did joke that the um, this central clump of seaweed looked like a map of the UK and we had Ireland off to the left and maybe Europe and Denmark and all the rest of it on the right. But it did look a little bit like um, the UK, which with Scotland at the top there and southern part of the UK down the bottom. So that, that kind of shape, but though that sort of triangular shape, again, it just helps us lead our, our way into the into the scene. These boats are excellent. Yeah, I particularly like that one. Very much got a feeling of the, the shape of the boat, the front of the boat uh, pointing off to the right there. Excellent. Yeah, well done. Uh, maybe with the church here, try and think about connecting that church more to the background buildings. We've got a faint little sort of lines here, here. These lines here and here. Maybe if all of that were just sort of one value and connect a little bit more to the background for connectivity point of view. But a lovely painting, well done. So that's Anna W. And then Anna... Uh, here, another Anna number two. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, like it. A good composition. Maybe it's a little bit overworked with the middle ground boats. It's a little bit confusing to see what's going on. There's a lot of middle values. So maybe if there was a little bit more light catching some of those um, background middle ground boats, that would make them stand out as being more giving you the feeling of that that group of boats in the background i do like your background town that's fantastic those those blues the mauves in there violets beautiful boats are very good indeed again well it looks like we're looking down on the scene a little bit with maybe that boat there on the left these two boats good but that boat on the left maybe it needs to be a little bit larger and connect the mast Make the mast of the boat a bit more but and nice and loose as well very nice and loose well done Anna and Barb nice composition beautiful light hitting this boat here on the right hand side that really stands out as well as and I, I love these diagonal shadows I, I like I like putting them into paintings myself and uh, that's an excellent one there, Barb, lovely. And you've got there, you've got there the sort of light, well, we've got dark, light, dark, light, dark, light, that kind of, that kind of transition, like, again, which I think is quite nice, um, coming down through the scene, those, those kind of horizontal bands. Uh, middle ground boats, beautiful, brilliant. Um, boat, all the boats are fantastic. Maybe this one here looks a little bit odd. From this one, this boat here, 110% brilliant, but that one there looks a little bit odd in the way we've got the left-hand side there. Perhaps if, perhaps if this, um, the right-hand side nearest to us were a little bit like that, and then the back of the boat was a little bit more horizontal, and then we've got the far side. Maybe that could be a little bit less exposing that left-hand side of the boat. Something like that. That might be a little bit closer to it. Uh, let's get rid of that drawing. Uh, let's zoom back out again. Um, nice textures with the seaweed. Softness of the reflection of the sky. Brilliant. Those lines. Maybe there's some of these, these cables here and chains and ropes could be a little bit more chunky um, as well. A little bit thicker, maybe particularly closer to us. Again, giving that feeling of perspective and, and depth and that journey into the scene. Love the background. Beautiful, great sky. What well on Barb? Uh, Brenda. Oh, fantastic sky. That blue, let me zoom into that blue. That blue is beautiful. It's a lovely sort of Cornish sky. 
Uh, you don't get that blue every every day of the year down there in Cornwall, but certainly when the sun does come out, it, it is uh, it can be more sort of a, as if you're way down south, maybe Mediterranean somewhere somewhere like that. But that that blue is fantastic, and it sort of shows up well against the against the uh, the lightness of that cottage there on the hill. Lovely green there. You haven't bothered with those boats, uh, the the buildings on the right hand side there's a few buildings down the right hand side there but it, no, we're, we're creating a piece of art here we're trying to be creative now it's swirling i, I quite like this actually so half of your painting is devoted to seaweed um, and less so to the boats boats are good uh, by the way lovely that boat there fantastic um, maybe a little bit too light in that middle area there but the feeling of texture and it's sort of swirling, almost like the wind is picking it up. Uh, lovely sort of sense of movement of that seaweed there. You haven't got those individual clumps, but they're all kind of connected in some way. And then a nice, you know, haven't overdone it with the white paint, the sort of dry brush marks there. Yeah, well done, Brenda. Fantastic sky. Uh, Christy. Fantastic boats. They are, we, we got the feeling of a really nice, calm, clear, quiet, sunny day. These boats are superb. Oh, you, well, you, oh, you've got the prize so, so far for the most, the, the, the largest number of boats. Uh, beautifully done. Nice attention to detail, I know is your style. Lovely background as well. The cars, we've, we've got, um, down there, down in, down there on the, the harbour side, you've got lots of cars perched up apart up on the harbour wall, uh, down the left, down the right. Um, the entrance to the, the actual entrance of the harbour is somewhere around here. You, you don't see it in the source photo, it's difficult to see, um, but it's somewhere sort of that left third there. But those boats, keep looking at the boats, fantastic, and the seaweed as well, equally as good. Lovely reflection of the sky, beautiful shadows. Yeah, well done. Fantastic, Christy. Nice one. Uh, Colin. Nice way that you've got the perspective and the shapes of that seaweed. I'm really feeling I'm being drawn into the sea, scene with the shapes of the these clumps of seaweed here. Um, almost This one's almost like a spearhead pointing us into the scene. Fantastic boats. Uh, maybe this, um, I, I was painting that, that area there with my lavender. Maybe you've gone a little bit too sort of milky. Maybe that's just a little bit too much water in that, um, opaque-ish covering there, Colin. And as the paint has dried, it's left a little bit of a, do you see a little bit of a sort of white edge? So it's gone a little bit darker in the middle, uh, which sometimes happens with gouache, goes a little bit darker. Um, but then you're left with that sort of milky, that sort of milky white um, outline. So go, I would say go thicker, all right? Go thicker with that. And maybe just a little bit less light as well. Uh, but those boats are fantastic, particularly that right-hand one, well, this middle one, that right-hand one. Yeah, but I do like the, the shapes of seaweed. Lovely effect. Oops lovely effect of the watercolour over here. Look at that bloom, the shapes of that. It's, it's like the, up there on the cliffs, you get all this sort of brambles and gorse and scrubby vegetation just falling down the cliff sides and that. However you've done that, Colin, that's a, that's a masterpiece, that is. Well done. Uh, David J. I think there's a few, there might be two David J's. David J1 and David J2. Um, now the photo here has gone a little bit cool. I bet your photo, and a little bit, tiny, tiny little bit out of focus, but I bet your image is a little bit warmer than this. But what a fantastic watercolour. Very loose, like the composition. Maybe these boats here in the middle, I'm um, sorry, these foreground boats, these three key boats could could stand out just a little bit more, but they're very well drawn. I like the style. 
very loose. I like the, the way that you've done the background. We've got lots of soft edges. That's pushing it back, leaving it a bit vague about the structure of the buildings. Uh, nice brush mark with that mast. So you've got a little bit of warmth in there, but mainly it's on the cool side, isn't it? I'm not sure if that was your intention. I like that little bit of lightness on that on that tower as well. Nice style. So that's, that's David number two. We're going reverse order here. David number one. Two, da two David J's. Yeah, David. I just mentioned the first name too. To protect your identity. Right. David. David number one. David J number one. Ah, very nice. Got the feeling of a Cornish fishing village here, haven't you? With the seagulls in the sky looking for their morsels of probably chips in that area. Um, not, uh, I think their main diet is chips or any scraps of uh, food left by the local visitors. Uh, beautiful sense of boats. Uh, with the perspective... It looks like we're looking down a little bit on the boats. The boats are very well drawn, painted. So we're looking down them a little bit and you've got so many from I'm not sure about the inclusion of that boat there. This one. Oops. Get my drawing tool out. This one here. It's, it's a nice boat and I, I like the little bit of light hat catching that fender there but I think if that one was missing from the scene that would give a better composition if if we imagine that was missing and there's more kind of seaweed there that would be better and indeed this one here it looks a little bit too small compared to maybe this one if I think about a person climbing out of this one and going into this one would they be with the be sort of overpowering it a bit yeah, so that's my thoughts on that one. But I do, you've certainly got the feeling of um, a Cornish fishing village here with all of those different boats, different colours, different shapes, different angles, and those seabirds in the sky. Nice job on the masts as well. Well done, David J number one. Doris, nice soft feeling to this, lovely composition. Boats are very good. Oh, you've included, you. so you've got four boats in that foreground. I still think from a composition point of view, if, if there was something in that area there, Doris, it might look a little bit better. And uh, let me just zoom in here. This might be, I'm not sure what that little clump of paint is there doing. I think if you just had lots of horizontals here, particularly in the distance where there's bits of seaweed and puddles. They're a little bit sort of shallower um, in shape in the, in the distance there. That would look better. The boats though here are very well done indeed. Nice shapes of the seaweed. Nice and light with the background. Maybe just a little bit too dark with the lines there defining, I guess, rooftops or edges of rooftops. There's lots of middle values. I think this could be improved. And you might know what I'm going to say with some darker values. Now we've got it there with that hull, but maybe with some of the shadows, go a little bit more dramatic with the shadows to get a, a bit more contrast with the lights and the darks. But it's a lovely watercolour. Well done, Doris. And Eamon. I like, the, uh, I like the photo, the inclusion of your paint. Let me see what brand of paints you're using. Is that Cotman? Anyway, it's, it's nice context to include the tubes of paint there and your brushes and the towel there. Nice. Yeah, so this is, this is very, uh, I, I like the style of this one. Bold brush marks, plenty of body paint, that white paint we can see, nice, mixture of verticals and horizontals. We've got lots of verticals here, a little tiny mass, and then the horizontals. We're connecting the horizontals with the verticals. 
It's a nice pattern of those lines, those edges across the scene. It certainly does look like Porth Levin. I like the style. Very nice brush marks. Nothing, is it overworked? No, I don't think it's overworked. I think it's, you're, you're actually, you're actually sort of encouraging and capitalizing on what, what watercolor does. It's uh, all of these different transparent layers. Um, not so sure about these painting around these fenders here. I think if they were a little bit darker and we didn't have that whiteness around the edges, that might, that might make that stand out a little, a little bit more. Uh, but I do like it. It's quite a nice style to it. Yeah, well done. Thanks, Eamon. Eileen. I like that blue on that right-hand side. Lovely blue. Nice deep shade of blue. Uh, right, composition. There's a little bit of a, a slope or a lean from right to left on this. We haven't got the feeling of the level uh, nature of the harbour floor. So, yes, it's. It, I think it's the angle of those boats that might be the angle of these boats going down like that rather than being horizontal gives the feeling of that 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 area up there being higher than the area down here so to speak putting that aside these boats are really good the individual boats are very good however this boat on the left looks a little bit bigger than the middle boat i think the middle boat should be the biggest one and then you've got a slightly smaller one to the left like the light hitting the distant side of the harbour and the feeling of those uh, buildings they, they are they were quite light in the source photo so that's worked out really well love that green there lovely shade of green and the buildings on top of the the cliffs yeah really nice really nice uh, painting from from apart from those uh, little little points I've pointed out uh, the sky the sky maybe the sky we've got a bit of lightness there maybe the sky this paint here could have been continued down to the horizon I think that would look a little bit better but I do like that blue it's a lovely shade of blue well done Eileen uh, Engin Very nice indeed. You've, uh, you're the second person with the seabirds, so they are very well placed. Nice composition. I think that boat there could be a little bit bigger, Engin, but the boats are very well drawn, painted, especially that right-hand one. I like also the tower here with the slopey sides and that, and that top to it. It's got a bit more character than the, the one in the source photo. So nice, nice tower, lovely buildings as well, left and right. That one perched high up on the hill as well. The sea with the clumps of sea, we work out very well also. Yeah, I think it's a very nice painting. A nice mixture of warms and cools as well and good edges. We've got soft edges in there and harder edges. I like the the way that that tower stands out. My, my is really, I think it's the placement of your birds and these boats in that we've got that kind of curvature of those birds. And then we hit the tower and then we come back around with those boats. I think that works quite well. Well, that boat there leads us into, leads us into the tower. Yeah, nice one, Engin, thank you. Fausia. And I've, now Faris has gone with the liner wash, works really well. I like this pattern of seaweed here. The lines that you've drawn, the, it's like a radial pattern of lines. We've got the lines there coming out. And then here as well, sort of leading us into, I guess like a focal point there. Nice composition. 
you've got that bigger boat on the right. Not sure if that works for me. It's quite, it's quite, everything's happening on the right hand side with a lot, not a lot on the left hand side. We've got the tower, we've got the buildings, we've got these two major boats. Maybe if there was something balancing it over there on that left hand side, that might work a little bit better from a composition point of view. I think there might be just for me, there might be too many of these little vertical masts or things on that left hand side. The boats are really, really nice though. I like your style of boats. I love this one here. Very nice indeed. And the way that you've done the background buildings, that works as well. Lovely sky. It's got a nice style about it. I like it. But that, my eyes keep going back to this area here because of the strength and the direction of the lines. Fantastic colours that you've got in there as well, Farazia. That light green, the cooler greens, darker greens in the bottom right corner. Bit of red in there as well. Fantastic. Well done, Fauzia. Uh, Hannah, or oh, let me just zoom into this one. Now, if, if the image is quite small and I have to zoom in, I, it does go a little bit out of focus. So sorry, everyone, on this. So nice composition. Lovely light hitting that right hand side of the harbour. Maybe the tower could be a, a wee bit taller, bigger. As I say, it's a bit difficult when I zoom in like this, but let me zoom back out again. That's a little bit sharper. The clumps of seaweed are fantastic. The shape of those, you've certainly got the feeling of their, their volume. Uh, maybe that boat there on the right could be a little bit bigger, a tiny bit bigger. Other than that, the boats are really good and the background boats as well. Nothing overworked, but a nice, you've got a nice, texture on on that harbour floor and these clumps of seaweed and over on the left hand side looks like sort of lighter softer clumps interspersed with boulders or bigger rocks which is probably what you would you would find down there in that harbour yeah fantastic thanks hannah isabel now you've really focused on the foreground and we've sort of got a line here below which we've got this fantastic display of seaweed again like many others it, it leads the way that you you've created those shapes of seaweed it really does lead ourselves into the composition these boats are fantastic especially that one on the right very good indeed and the one in the middle is excellent and a nice bit of contrast there the the back of the boat dark against a lighter background the background buildings work work out very well lovely sky nice atmospheric sky a little bit of yellow cloud sky yeah super painting but well done on that foreground and then the the strength of these ropes as well thicker going a little bit narrower as we go into the go into the middle area. Well done, Isabel. Thank you. Oops, I just skipped through somebody. Ah, need to go to Joe. Joe. Got strong horizontal of the harbour wall. Nice design element to this. Good composition. Good level of that horizon. It might be a little bit of, is there a bit of a slope on it? Or it might be the angle of your photo. The boats are very well drawn. Like the fact that you've included a mast on this right-hand one, made it a little bit bigger, include a mast. And then this middle boat, yeah, it's got a, a nice uh, style to it with the, with the blue top. Perhaps it could be a bit more seaweed and bits and pieces going on in the foreground because there is that is this is sort of half of the overall image so perhaps just a little bit more as regards the seaweed but i do like the the strong vert sorry the strong horizontal 
brush marks that you've done and some dry brush marks as well a little bit of wet and where the green is blending into the into the 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 wet surface the the sort of low uh, a little bit of sea there yeah it works out really well and the fact that you've just got sort of three or four ropes leading us in so those two there they're very really well placed yeah nice one joe thank you and kazim nice composition those boats are excellent here we are we can see there's the uk there there's scotland there's wales here's england london's there <laughs> uh beautiful painting those boats are fantastic they are really really good yeah especially right hand one middle one and those distant boats and those these sort of little marks to denote windows and uh doors and little bits and pieces on those boats that stands out really well and the verticals there connecting the different elements in the scene nice whoops nice background hill there lots of different colors in that that warms cools greens darker darker building silhouette against the sky yeah, very nice indeed. Nice composition and those boats are superb. Well done, Kazim. And Leslie. I'll just zoom out a little bit more. No, I can't. <laughs> okay, Leslie. Very loose. I like that background. It's it's got lovely shapes of the, the light where you've got little rooftops catching the light. But that that is that's a lovely background. Just to zoom into that a little bit more. Yeah, maybe maybe a tiny bit too dark in places, but it, it is very nice. You've got that light hitting that right hand side. It's very loose. Like like the style. Boats. The boats are very good. Not so sure about this middle boat here. Maybe it's I think it's the cabin might be a bit too big. Unless unless we would say to ourselves, well, this is this is sort of one cabin here, and then we've got another cabin belonging to another boat that might be sort of lurking behind this main boat. But putting that aside, these boats are fantastic. The, the way that you treated the further boats as well, cutting around the boats with that darker background. Nice seaweed as well. L lovely light there. Look at that light. Need your sunglasses on that light there, where the sun is sort of up there maybe somewhere and then we've got that reflected sunlight bright light there against the shiny against the water yeah well done leslie thank you and lillian ah we've got a figure and that is just the right side oh, actually we've got more than one figure we've got two there two together and then one here just right sense of movement Bit of a lean on those two figures. I like the style of your edges as well. To these, but a nice sort of soft edge to the boats. A little bit of your pencil work showing through. Works really well. So nice composition. You've got the town a little bit flatter, which is all right. I think that that works. Bit of warmth closer to us on that left hand side, getting a bit cooler into the distance and then cooler there and uh, again that's a nice the way that you've done the silhouetted shape of that building up there on the hill very nice indeed that the, the, the around of this building here is quite large but you've sort of softened it and it and it's all, almost connects it blends into it sort of melts into the into the uh, cliff side on that right hand side very nice indeed Great boats, lovely clumps of seaweed. The way that you've done the reflection of the sky as well. But that figure, that's well, that's a really well-placed figure. And this could be, oh, that's the reflection of the church. And I was going to say is that, and maybe that could be a little dog or something like that. Uh, this could be a hand <laughs> with a lead to the dog, possibly. Yeah, well done on including those figures. Thanks, Lillian. 
and Louise. I like the golden feel to that right hand side. Let me just zoom in on that right hand side. Those three boats there, or well, that blue, that cooler blue against that warm background of the harbour wall works really well. Well, those, those three, one, two, three, works really well. Lovely boat shapes, good composition, nothing overworked, very loose. Like the way that you've done the seaweed. Maybe the seaweed could have a, just a little bit more of a shadow um, in there just to kind of connect it a little bit more to the, the, the surface of the, of the harbour floor. And the, the background is, is the, the value of the background is just right. It's sort of got that lighter value and that tends to, of course, push it back, push it back a fair bit. So we've certainly got a, a feeling of the depth of the scene. Yeah, I do like those three boats on that right hand side. The, that, that kind of contrast of that blue with the golden colour of that harbour wall. And the fact that you're almost repeating that colour in the seaweed as well. Nice sort of harmony of, of colours there. Well done. And Lynn. Yeah, this is very loose and lively. Uh, it's a line and wash, I would say. Uh, the composition is very good. Boats are... Well, these three boats here, they're very good. Not so sure about this boat here. I think it's pointing. You've got it pointing, looks like it's pointing kind of that way and it's angled up a little bit. I think if you got the, let me just try and draw that again. If you try tried, tried to get the sides a little bit more horizontal, I think that would work a little bit better because they're all fairly horizontal, aren't they? and especially the ones further away. Got a little bit of a little bit of a slope on that right hand side, just a tiny bit. We want to try and keep that the, the actual harbour floor quite level in a way. It might go up a little bit more on the right hand side. Yeah, just a tiny bit too high on that right hand side. Background is superb. I like the sky as well. You've got that feeling of high altitude clouds, wispy, high clouds, fair weather, fair weather clouds, and lovely background. Yep, good, good clumps of seaweed on the uh, the the shiny surface of the water. Yeah, brilliant. Well done. And Lynn R. Nice composition, connecting. Now we've got a lot of connections going on here with the ropes, for example, for example, that one to that one. So let's draw this, that one to that one. Uh, connecting, so that boat here is connected to this boat, which in turn is almost connected to this one. So we've got a nice bit of, we've got a nice flow connection across, um, connecting these three, or well, these two boats to the, Boat on the right hand side. I like the background buildings. They are superb. That the way that you've done that wash up there. And it what it looks like is a little bit of a tiny, tiny bit of lifting out of that wash as it as it as it was quite wet. I think so, Lynn, um, on that on that background, which works really well. Surface of the harbour floor, very good indeed with all those darks, brilliant. Yeah, well done Lynn, thank you. Marco, we can see the, with your, your photo, we can see the texture of that lovely paper. Right, nice composition. The tower, you've made a little bit bigger, but it's quite, um, I think it's quite nice, creating a little bit more dominance over the scene. And the angle of that shadow, brilliant. The light hitting that right-hand side. Beautiful colours on that right-hand side. Yellow leading into a, a deeper 
warmer colour, going a little bit darker towards the base, the base of the wall. These boats are superb, very nice indeed, as are the background boats, like the lavender there, the shape of that. That's just the right amount of thickness for those background, for those background buildings. And then the shapes of seaweed, a bit like Faris has got a bit of movement going on in this, this seaweed with that, that curve there. Here, your brush marks in that seaweed are fantastic. They work out, works out really well. Lively. You've done it once, you've left it. A little bit of white. Maybe, the, maybe these white bits here could be a little bit stronger. They've gone a bit gray. Perhaps there was too much water. We used a bit of white paint on the demo for those that, for those that didn't attend the demo. As a last element of the painting, we use a little bit of white gouache, thick white gouache to add some little sparkles to the seaweed. But I think with markers, that may be just a little bit too, just a tiny, tiny bit too much water there, Marco. But putting that aside, what a fantastic painting. Very nice indeed, well done. Yeah, and I like the that right hand uh, cliff side as well with the with buildings, silhouetted there, nice, nicely done. What well a Marco, and might be. Good composition. You've got four boats then in the, in the foreground there. This one certainly looks a little bit battered. The way that you've done those brush marks, it's certainly got a bit of bit of character. I think tiny bit too much white paint on that boat there. Let me zoom back out again. But I like the I like the repetition of the boats. We've got the bigger boat there, sort of in the middle, then medium-sized boat, then smaller boat. That works out quite well. Perhaps they could be just a little bit less evenly spaced, maybe. On reflection, perhaps one of them could be just moved a little bit to the left or right, just creating a bit more of a gap or more of a an overlap between the two shapes. But on the right hand side, nicely drawn. I like all the different colours that you've got in here. All the blues, greens, browns, the reds. You've got these the boys on the harbour floor. Nice touch, a nice repetition of those red circular blobs, nice sort of repetition of that pattern going through. Good background. Perhaps we've got more, perhaps we've got a little bit of a shape of the harbour here. And from a perspective point of view, again, we're looking, makes it look as if we're looking down on the scene. If the background boats were a little bit lower and a little bit larger as well, perhaps that might give a feeling getting a bit flatter there, get a bit more horizontal with that harbour wall. I like that sky. I've got that sort of curvature of the yellow clouds coming in. Nice. Thanks, Mike. And Mike, uh, so there's a Mike, <laughs> who's that? Mike B, and then Mike F. Yeah, nice composition. Good boat shapes. I think that boat on the left, a bit, a bit similar to, uh, I forget now, was it Dave? Um, so, uh, someone before had a boat coming half in, half off. I don't think the composition, it, it looks a little bit, for me, it looks a little bit weird having it sort of just off the, Image. I'm not sure if you cropped it, maybe Mike, but I would ignore that boat. That boat there, I would bring it in just a little bit more into the scene. It's a lovely boat, just bring it more into the scene. The way you've done the background boat's lovely. Perhaps some of these masts are a little bit too thick and the, the paint's a, a tiny bit too weak. The white paint's a tiny bit too weak. So you've got that milky consistency to it. So it's dried a sort of gray milky color like this one, like this one here. Background is superb, like it. 
and I, I like the the way that you've done those lighter houses there. I use lavender, but yours works really well. That kind of you've left that wash of the background. Then you've gone in darker with the rooftops and the and the uh, the windows. Yep, good good clumps of seaweed, soft edges in the water, and those. Uh, chains as well we got some a nice definition of those chains going up to those boats yeah well done thanks mike uh nidia very nice composition boats are good i think this boat here could be moved back a little bit it it's sort of um it's coming forward just a little bit too much i think if that boat Nidia was moved back a little bit. That would look better. I personally wouldn't do these boats. You've marked out the the pointy bit of the boat, the bow of the boat with that dark line. I don't think it would necessarily need that. I I stick with the stick with the line across the top of the boat, but it they don't need that sort of darker line there. Uh, what we would, what we might have instead, is maybe one side light, and then the other side just slightly darker, perhaps, just to to note those two sides. But these boats are very well painted, like the fenders. Seaweed is very nice indeed. Different greens, lighter green there, darker greens here. Let's just zoom into the seaweed. Yep, yeah, lovely. And plenty of ropes leading us into the scene. I think it's, it's got a nice balance. It that th these buildings in the background they are fantastic. That'd be a lovely painting on its own. That there, you you've got lots of different edges. You've got the darkness there, contrasting lovely with the light of the rooftop, and then almost these these vertical these these vertical lines. It's done that really well. Nice background. That's that's a superb background. You got the feeling of the the tier the sort of tiered effect of all these rows of houses coming down to the harbour wall. Well done, Nidia. Uh, Ravi B. Yeah, again, a, a dramatic uh, the way that you've done the shapes of the seaweed and these ropes. They really do lead us into the scene, into that sort of central area perhaps the boats could be a little bit larger but you've got the feeling of the level of the scene the horizon perhaps the harbour wall is a little bit too high just a tiny bit too high i think it could be reduced by about a third i reckon or we would make some of those background boats a little bit bigger it just looks a little bit too a little bit too high. Background is fantastic. The that wash up there. Fantastic. The the tower. Um, just be careful. Now this is I, I'm guilty of this. Leaving pencil mark showing on say the horizon or tops of buildings, that skyline. You're just gonna lose that sort of crispness there. So maybe with hindsight that could have been that tower there could have been a little bit wider to just just hide those pencil lines but lovely scene and nice shapes of the seaweed and those those ropes leading us into the scene well done ravi oh we've only got one ravi today <laughs> we normally have two ravis right sally uh, are there two Sallies? No. Okay, Sally. Oh, I like this. That mark there, again, is what watercolour does, that sort of bloom, that blooming uh, effect. Something to encourage. I, li uh, I like this. It's got a nice dramatic feeling to it, the way that you've done those boats. And also, on this left-hand side, the way that you're connecting this boat here to the background it's got a nice flow from the wall one row of boats at the bottom of the wall then this this boat here on its own 
sat on its own in the uh, harbour. Uh, lovely green, that's a lovely shade of green that you've chosen for the seaweed. Nice marks as well for the seaweed. Very nice indeed, it's a lovely painting, so loosely done, lovely brush marks. Just encouraging the transparency of watercolour as well. Looks like you've got good quality paper also. Nice boat there. Yep, thank you, Sally. And Sylvie, another liner wash. Yeah, with, with the composition, we've got more of a sort of narrow tunnel leading us into an, a narrow sort of harbour leading us into the distance. The way that you've done the buildings, the background buildings, beautiful, and more buildings on the right-hand side. These boats are superb. Perhaps that boat there could be a tiny bit bigger, but the boats are fantastically done, like that boat there on the right-hand side, that sort of cruiser boat. Very nice boats. It's got a lot, nice character about it, and the, the seaweed. Let's just zoom in to see. Nice dark green colour. You captured the colour of that seaweed so well. And then these brush marks as well. Expressive, lively brush marks. Bit of lightness there. Oops. Contrast there of the darkness, uh, that, that dark seaweed against the glow of the reflection. I guess that's the reflection of the sun. Yeah, nice, nice sort of shape to it. You've got more of a, a curvature of the building. So you've gone up a little bit higher on that left-hand side. And then we've got that kind of curvature there. And then all of these lines leading us in. Excellent. Well done, Sylvie. And Susan S. Good composition. I like the boats, that boat there for me, just the right size as well. Good shapes of the seaweed, perhaps the seaweed. We've got three clumps of a similar, three clumps of a similar sort of size or shape. Maybe they could they could have been altered a bit. Or also drag, bring that darker seaweed over the edge a little bit more so we don't have this sort of lighter border around the bottom as a suggestion. But those boats are fantastic. The background, nice as well. I like the repetition of the shapes of those houses, the, the opaque paint that you use there for creating those houses. Nice sort of repetition going down that, going down that side of the background buildings. Light hitting the right hand side, good boats in the middle area as well. Super Sky. Yeah, well done, Susan. So it's Susan S. This is Susan. So Susan 1 and Susan 2. This is Susan number 1. Good composition. You've got a lot of your scene devoted to the foreground, and I think that works really well. From a perspective point of view, it looks like we're looking down on the scene a little bit. I think it's the... The, the way that you've done the shape of the seaweed here um, in the foreground. Lots of lovely colours on that seaweed. Red, blue, green, of course, grey, bit of burnt sienna, um, purple there. Fantastic. And nothing overworked as well. You're, you're exploiting the, the transparency of watercolour. Beautiful background, maybe a little bit too light, um, on the background buildings on that left hand side perhaps they could be a little bit more solid and have some of these lighter bits being a bit more horizontal in shape right hand side fantastic boats now boats are good I particularly like that left hand boat and the middle boat I think this right boat here looks a little bit too chunky perhaps some um, that The boat shape should be a little bit more like that. So we would, miss, we would miss out all of that. I think that would look a little bit better. 
Lovely painting of Susan, thank you. So you were Susan number one, the other, the other Susan was Susan number two. Right, Teresa. I think we've got two, two Teresas. This is Teresa, Teresa C. Nice composition. I like the way that we've got the shapes of the boats connected with each other. And there's a sort of slight sort of curvature going on here. Almost like a sort of using like a, one of those fisheye lenses of a camera. Um, it's very effective. And then these lines going in to maybe that, that boat there might be the focal point. Um, so the boats are done very well, particularly this right hand boat. It's a very well placed boat. I think this cable here is too close to the right hand edge of that smaller boat. Perhaps consider a line, that line being further away from it, or maybe coming down to it and then coming off at an angle. So connecting, yeah, that might be a better place for it. So let me do that again. So it's coming from there, just sort of hits that top right corner of that boat, then comes out bottom right corner and goes off wherever it's going to. That would look a little bit better. Nice background. Touch of lavender there with those buildings. Yeah, lovely background. Seaweed. Yeah, excellent. Well done, Teresa. And I think we've got another Teresa here. Teresa H. Teresa number two. Um, yeah, good composition. Like the background. Warms and cools in the background. Very nice indeed. Boats are very well painted. Nice seaweed. Also good connections of those boats. Also good cables coming out. Perhaps these two here, they're running a little bit parallel. Maybe consider, so if we have that one there, keep that one where it is, make sure it's thicker here. All right, gives it a sense of perspective and depth in the painting. But this one here on the right, maybe have that one going at a wider angle. Something like that. All right. And likewise, a little bit with these two here. So keep that one there. Ooh. <laughs> keep that one there. And then this one go off more at an angle. Do you see what I mean? And then they're going a little bit more horizontal as we go to left and the right side. Yeah, well done, Teresa. Thank you. Uh, Tim C. I like that glow that you've got on the left-hand side. You you haven't got so much seaweed. What you, your seaweed is sort of stuck to these ropes, which you would you would do, wouldn't you? With when the ropes have been there some time, they accumulate all this kind of debris around them and uh, uh, seaweed and so on and and shellfish. Uh, those boats are fantastic. They are very nice indeed. I like the the smaller blue boat that you've got beyond that white boat. That's very effective. This boat here, you've changed it from the source photo. I like that, that sort of bronzy top and then the white and then the base there. Very nice indeed. Um, darker blue boat, nice connection between the two. The other boats, very well done. Maybe all the boats are very similar in nature, perhaps. One or two of them could be just a little bit different, higher, higher, taller, wider. Do you know what I mean? Or maybe a different color just to make that a little bit more interesting rather than having, the, the boats are very well drawn, but maybe just a few of them could be a bit different. The background buildings are fantastic. They are really nice indeed. And you've gone nice and soft with that church tower. But these buildings here, it's almost like there's a little bit of, light glowing in the middle some so it's getting some reflected light there on that middle area and then darker to the right darker to the left cooler over there i think many many of you have done some fantastic backgrounds uh, both left and right yeah well done tim thank you and vicente vicente is always the 
<laughs> last one we have. Uh, yeah, very nice indeed. I like the way that you've mounted it as well. Always a nice touch just to make it a little bit cleaner, smarter around the edges. Nice composition. Good boats uh, left and right. Maybe this boat here, let's zoom in on this boat. This boat here needs to be adjusted a bit. So we got the back. The far side might be a little bit straighter, but then the the side closest to us, that's the one that's going to have more of the curvature to it. And then maybe the height of the boat wouldn't be as high as you've got and goes up to the front. So something like something like that. And then also the angle of those uh, what they call thwarts, the, the seats across across the boat. Nice background. Nothing too overworked. We might be just a little bit overworked with some of those boats fixed empty in the middle there. Uh, just a tiny bit, kind of a little bit too thick with the paint maybe there on those. So just ease off on the paint. Also, some of them, some of the boats don't need that darker edge to them. You've got like a darker edge there, darker edge there, darker at the top. They don't need let let the difference in values of these different objects coming up against each other. Let them speak for themselves as regards when one object starts and when it ends. Like you've got here, that's a better shape. There, lighter top of the boat, bottom of the boat. We've got the light there against the lighter background, light of the lightness of the top against the darker background of the harbour wall. That's a better, that's a better way of doing it. Yeah, so thanks very much for extending and thanks very much uh, everyone else. So that concludes the the last painting uh, of the submissions I've had from the Porth Levin uh, workshop. I hope you enjoyed that and if you feel, if you're tempted to have a go yourself at this one or the next one coming up for the following month. Uh, we try, I, I try and do these once a month, these public open workshops. On my Patreon site, we've got loads more workshops that are more kind of closed to Patreon members only, but this one is a public one. So this is open to literally anyone. So if you want to go, go to crowdcast.io slash at Tim Wilmot sit at symbol hope to see you up there hope to see you on an uh, event uh, shortly and thanks for watching catch up with you on the next video might be a normal video like a tutorial video thanks very much bye bye